admits his role in a double homicide in Harrison County. Austin Scott accepted a plea deal for the murders of Gary Henderson and Asenath Arnold. WLKY's Annalisa Gale talked to the victim's family members about the deal and the other suspects still facing charges in the case. Prosecutor Otto Schock says Austin Scott's decision to accept the plea deal was unexpected. Now family members are hoping that Kevin Schuler will follow Scott's lead. Oh, it's been rough. Uh, of course, naturally, the first few months it was really rough. Since August 2013, when his sister and her partner were killed, Don Elgin says he has struggled with depression. Yeah, it's it's rough on holidays. Police say Austin Scott and Kevin Schuler beat Asina Tsini Arnold to death and stabbed Gary Henderson to death. For the past two years, prosecutor Otto Schock has tried to get justice for the couple. Thursday, Schock learned one of the suspects wanted to avoid the death penalty. Mr. Scott pled guilty um, in the late afternoon hours yesterday to uh, count one, the knowingly and intentional killing of Gary Henderson as well as the felony murder of a Asenath Arnold. I'm happy. Uh, he manned up to what he done, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I'm happy. We don't have to go back going through no trial or anything. In a statement posted to Facebook, Henderson's daughter says that she is grateful Scott made that decision. She says, quote, I am so thankful to hear him admit his guilt on killing Dad and Sini. Nothing will ever take my pain away from missing them every minute of every day. She went on to say, you didn't just take their lives, you also took all that love them. We are the ones who suffer every day. Austin Scott is scheduled for sentencing in January, and Schuler is scheduled for a trial in May. Here in Harrison County, I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. Now, if the court accepts Scott's plea agreement, he will be sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Gary Henderson's daughter says that she would not be happy if Schuler got anything less than life without parole.